Hey, it's Priscilla Naomi here with another tutorial. This is something just for my beginners. You're just getting into makeup or you don't know a whole lot of products of what to buy. So I have some simple things and techniques, tools and products that you can purchase yourself. So if you like this look, continue watching. Also, don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what you thought. I look forward to reading them soon. All right, let's get our primer, Ultra Mattifying Face Primer. It's a good product that you can purchase just a little bit and put it all over your face. Now I'm gonna use my concealer on my eyes. Um, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm gonna put it on my eyes just to kind of help the eyeshadow stick a little bit. I didn't use a primer this time um, because I want to minimize the amount of products that I'm using just in case. These are things that you want to start off with as a beginner. Then you're going to get a NYX um, Professional Makeup um, Eye Brow Pencil. Uh, it has a spoolie on it so you can clean up your eyebrows first and then shape them up by um, outlining them and filling them in. This is a, a really inexpensive product that you can purchase um, and then just use it to fill in your actual eyebrow in the shape that you desire. Eyebrows are usually the one area that takes a little bit more time because you want to make sure you shape them up the way that you desire. So, you know, take your time as you're going through it. It takes practice, um, but just keep working it out until you get comfortable um, with the shape that you desire. <laughs> Using the spoolie on the other end of uh, the eyebrow pencil is a great way to get the product um, moving around into your brow. So remember to use that. Uh, the other thing is you can outline with some concealer. I'm going to use a lighter color concealer just to clean up the areas around to give them more defined shape. Okay, so you want to get just an eye shadow brush and just blend everything out. Uh, so that it doesn't leave a pasty color um, above your eyebrows. I also use the LA Girl Pro uh, concealer that's closer to my skin tone on top so that when I take a picture, it doesn't show like, oh my goodness, she has this concealer right there. You can also just fill in any additional areas and clean up. You can use, I'm using a MAC uh, shadow with a brow um, brush just to kind of go in and uh, fill in any additional spaces that I want to for my brow. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare my eyes. I'm gonna use uh, a NYX eyeliner and I'm just going to go from my outer line to the midpoint of my pupil and I use that as a guideline when I'm placing my eyeshadow. So it's a really cool technique so that you don't necessarily put too much of one color on one eye um, too far in or too far out. Um, so you can use that technique and see if it helps kind of guide where you want to place your color. I'm going to use this smudger brush to smudge it out a little bit. Um, but other than that, we're going to continue moving forward. <music> So now I'm going to use a MAC Bruin eyeshadow and then I'm going to use one of their eyeshadow brushes and I'm just going to take a line and I'm going to go diagonal up because I'm creating the space of where I want this color to go and then I'm going to take it up to my brow bone and then I'm going to literally move everything in to about the midpoint of my eye and I'm going to ride along that brow bone. This will kind of give me an area of which I'm going to work with. This technique helps you not to put any colors where you don't want to have things. If you have hooded eyes, it kind of helps create kind of a full crease. Um, so these are other techniques that you can use on your eyes to help guide uh, the colors of where you place everything. <music> Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to create another line to help me create another boundary point, and then I'm going to fill it in with that darker shadow. Um, this look isn't going to be as intense as the other ones that I've done uh, because this is something for beginners. If you don't have a lot of product or different kind of, you know, primers and concealers and all those different kind of things, you can definitely use what you have. Um, this is just a crease brush um, and I'm going to blend out any harsh lines and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <music> Now I'm going to take another color by MAC and it is corduroy and I'm just going to just buff out um, and blend out some of the harsh lines that I see on my eyelid. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the rest of my eyelid with Molt. It is by MAC and I'm going to use a Real Technique um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just pat the color in. And remember, I didn't use my normal primer so a lot of the times the colors don't go in as easy um, and as bright when you don't use a primer but when you're just beginning in makeup a lot of times you don't want to buy a whole lot of stuff that you may not use so this is a great place to kind of start um, and plus you can purchase a real technique eye um, essential set and this will have every eye brush that you need uh, to use to get your eyes the way that you want Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buff everything out and then place the eyeshadow underneath my eyebrow and then I'm gonna move forward from there. I'm gonna use Juvia Place's Brow Definer Brush and I'm gonna use MAC Era uh, just to highlight right on that brow bone. So now I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line and I'm going to do my waterline below. Uh, you can do it thin, you can do it thick, whichever way is your preference. Um, today I'm just going to do mine very thin and then I'm going to just finish out this look. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to use the MAC blending brush and just blend everything out uh, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Blending is important when you're working with eyeshadow, so you can never blend too much, but you can definitely blend too little. Okay, I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Fawn. It is um, an inexpensive concealer, so I really do like it. Um, and I'm going to use a Real Technique pointed foundation brush and I'm going to blend everything out. A lot of times I use a lot of tapping motions uh, just because I don't like to pull or drag. So I just tap, tap, tap to make work the product all the way in. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and place setting powder. I have the Translucent by Laura Mercier, and I'm going to use a beauty sponge to just place that setting powder on all the areas that I use concealer. So it's really good to do that. Um, a beauty sponge is a great tool to have uh, for any of your makeup uh, that you will put on. So it can use the foundation, concealer, setting powder. So definitely get one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my lips with MAC Prep and Prime. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna use Mac Studio Fix uh, MW45 foundation. It is a powder, but then it gives you light coverage. It's not a full, full coverage, but I really like it. I'm gonna use a buffing brush by Real Technique, and you can just place that all over your face. Once again, patting motions, patting motions um, as you're putting it on. Uh, this is if you don't want a full, full, full face, but you just wanna make sure you get some product on and have a very nice uh, looking, flawless, natural look. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use MAC Cork Lip Liner. I'm going to line my lip up with that. And then I'm going to use their lipstick color, Faux. Um, and then I'm going to come back behind it and use another uh, lip liner, uh, Chestnut. One of my favorite uh, blushes from MAC, it is Sweet as Cocoa because you can use it as a highlighter as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and take one of my MAC brushes and I'm just going to pat that in. Now I have my lashes on, I can finish out my eyes. I'm going to take the Real Technique Definer Brush and I'm going to use the color Mulch and I'm just going to place it right underneath my lower lash line and then I'm going to use the other color which is Bruin and I'm going to use it on the outer uh, corners of my eyes and blend those two together so that I can complete my eye look. Okay, so now I'm going to use mascara. You can use this from your local grocery store. Um, this one just happens to be a Maybelline. And you can go ahead and just put it on your top lash, even on your false lashes. Um, you can place um, the mascara on. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use the Juvia's uh, Place The Tribe Highlighter in Value 1. I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger and I'm going to lay uh, my finger on the product and then I'm just going to place it right on the middle of my nose. <laughs> I like it, it's simple. I haven't done uh, a simple look in a very long time without being a complete full face. I really do like it. I went back to some of my uh, former products like MAC products of just, you know, powders and, um, and just using just simple techniques. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to go ahead and like me on all of my social media platforms. You can find me on Instagram at Beauty by Priscilla. Naomi. You can find me on Facebook at Priscilla Naomi and you can follow me on YouTube at Priscilla Naomi. All right. Have a great day.